Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Hillbilly Military Modeling here and it's time for a new project. So looking through my little stash of models I have this kit here. It is an M6 gun motor carriage WC55 um, by Tallery in 135th scale. This kit was released in 2018. Uh, kit number is 6555. And the price that I paid for it is 1845 USD. Quick look at our instructions. And Atalari does provide us with a real short uh, history on the vehicle in multiple languages. And we have our sprue map. There's only five sprues and one clear part, which is the windshield. Uh, and then we begin with a step one. Now these instructions are laid out really simple. There's not a whole lot of parts in each one of the steps. This kit being a relatively low parts count, uh, I didn't count the parts, but uh, um, there's not a whole lot here, so should go together pretty quick. So Atalari provides us with these really nice colored um, paint schemes. There's only two real colors. You've got the Tunisia camo and then everything else is just basically green. What we have here is Sprue A. So it contains our axles, front and rear axle. We got some bolt detail, a little bit of cleanup, front fenders, our bumpers, front springs, radiator detail, some drive shafts. So I'm not seeing a whole lot of misalignments on the molds or anything like that. Um, this being a lesser expensive kit, you can expect to have to do some, some serious cleanup a lot of times, but it uh, doesn't look too bad. Now these light assemblies, the two headlights and the blackout drive lamp, they have these sink holes as you can see here, and those will have to be filled, and that's kind of unfortunate. Um, but I have seen that a lot on Tallery kits. And we have another big sinkhole that we're going to have to fill on our front winch housing here. And on to sprue B. So we have some body parts here. Uh, the rear body, the gun shield, inner fenders for the rear. Now I really do not like the looks of these uh, rifles in these scabbards so I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. Uh, basic gun parts.
everything's kind of looking like it's pretty much expected. Here's the inside of our truck bed. Some rivet detail. So we do have some ejector pin marks. Some of them's not going to matter, but these on the gun shield, we're going to have to address those. On to our next sprue, which is sprue C. So we have our wheels, our hood, uh, the seat, seat buckets, floor panel for the cab, and these fuel cans. I, I really don't think that these fuel cans look all that good. So we'll see when we get them put together. I think we only use like one of them. Now there are some sink holes here on these uh, engine covers. Just a little bit. I have to fix that. And I don't know why, but Italeri decided to put these sprue gates right on the side of the detail of the hood. Not much detail on our floor pan. But these vehicles in real life were pretty simple, so... So our wheels do have a little bit of bolt detail, and these are two-piece wheels, so on to our next little piece of sprue here, that's sprue D. So we have our running boards, and the tailgate, and the front panel for the bed, and the rear panel. So here is sprue E. This is our frame. We have a couple of leaf springs, a drive shaft, and our transfer case. So the frame has a lot of flash. We'll have to clean all that up. And this transfer case has a nice big sinkhole in it as well. So we'll have to fill that. Now, Tallery is not real good about making uh, the square edges on parts, so we'll probably have to do some dressing up on this frame. And here's a piece that was loose in the box, so I'm not sure what it goes to yet. And here's our windshield. So the windshield wipers are molded onto this windshield. I would have preferred them to have been separate, but what you get. Here are our decals. And my past experience with Italeri decals is that they tend to be a little bit prone to silvering, so we'll just have to see how these come out for us. And that's what's in the kit, guys. So I can't wait to get started on this one and uh, see what kind of little surprises that it has in store for us. I'm sure that there is at least one or two. I'd like to take this chance to thank all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys and the modeling community uh, is such a great community. And if this is your first time to the channel and you like what you've seen, uh, please uh, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when there's new content. And 
If any of you have any comments or any suggestions, I'd love to hear from you guys. So until the next video, you guys stay safe. Thanks for watching.